So unless it's perfectly trained and somebody's really spent time evening them out, you're going to find a stiffer side. So I want you to notice as you turn your horses around which side is easier to bend to. And that's the easy side is going to be the easy lead. And the stiff side is going to be your tougher lead. So when you're coming over the jumps, you're going to have to put more into it with your legs and just keeping the head turned in a little tiny bit if you are aware of what your stiff side is. Yeah. Liz, I want you to practice barely coming off the saddle with the trot and the canter. Now the lower you pose, the easier you make it look. And perception is a large part of this. So your elbows are coming back under your shoulders. Everybody posting as low as you can to the saddle. And to do that, if you think in terms of letting the horse drop out from under you instead of standing up. When you go up, you're more or less holding status quo and letting the horse drop from under you. Just keeping it minimal. Good. And then everybody shorten your reins and go to two point again. And I want you to think about finding that balance so solidly that if you were going over a jump right now, you wouldn't have to change anything. Lift don't lean over so far and let's come a little closer to the saddle. So a little more upright. If you lean over a lot, you're going to strain your, your joints. Keep the elbows bent. Good, Aaron. That's better, Liz. Just barely leaning over at all. Just letting your muscles work. No knees at all. Knees are shock Are you hurting, Liz? Let's get your heels deep. And walk your horses down those two sides. And hand down, don't drop the reins. Sit back, sit back a little. Good. Now careful not to shove one hand down. Aaron, don't shove your hands down, take them up. Take your hands up a little, Aaron, elbows bent, looking over his ear. I have a grip on her, not sure. Look and see, and it might be in our log or call log. Attempt that first, find out what happened. Could be they're lost. Okay. Yeah. What time are they supposed to be here? One. Okay. Yeah, call them. Okay. Yeah, you can you feel your legs swinging? Tighten up your calves. Everybody, your legs should be super still. Liz, don't drop your side shoulder. Keeping those elbows coming back. That's the bend. And as you change the bend, pushing the horse into your outside frame. You're going on the fourth. Go down a little bit on the change. Okay, so both of you got cross canters. So you want to sit up tall, sit up straight, really straight. That's all right if he breaks in, you just push him right back into it. He's telling you he can't hold that wrong balance. So you're on the right track with this. Okay? And let's all try it again. So sit up really straight when you're asking for the change. Don't lean way over. Turn the head to the newest side. Push the shoulders out. Switch your legs so the new outside is back. And use the outside ring. Great. Lift, don't raise your hands up and yank him. Just keep steady. If, if they, they miss, miss the change, change don't, don't get, get worried about it. Because that means they're, they're having trouble figuring it out or they're not set in their balance. And so this is where you can help the horse by just holding steady. Changing down here and turning up to the right. And squeeze your right leg. There, you got it. Good. Let's do one more change, everybody. 